Hi, I'm Barbara Noyce Pulling, a Democrat running for the Rutland 4 House seat. First of all, I'd like to thank PEG TV. These candidate profiles are a great public service and a wonderful opportunity to reach out to voters, so thank you. I'm running for office to ensure that the voices of all of us Rutland Town residents are heard in the Vermont House of Representatives. I was born and raised in Rutland Town, where I currently live with my family, and its future and the future of its residents are vitally important to me. When I was growing up here in the 50s and 60s, everyone was a Republican, conservatives, moderates, and liberals alike. We were all Vermonters and were tolerant of each other's differences. I also grew up in a time when the state was at a crossroads over its future. I remember a saying back then, you can't eat the scenery. In other words, you need more than a pretty state to keep Vermonters employed and food on the table. Yet by working together, we found a way to keep our incredible scenery and natural resources, generate jobs, and entice people and businesses to our state. We did it by creating a Vermont brand for our products, our tourism, and our entrepreneurs. Now in these trying COVID-19 times, we need to go back to the time when we were all Vermonters, rowing in the same direction. We need a new political brand. Voter input and inclusion are the foundation of my campaign, which I launched in the face of the devastating coronavirus. With more than 150,000 Americans dead and the virus still ransacking portions of our nation, we see collapsing healthcare systems and decimated economies. We're facing a new novel virus that's caused unprecedented disruptions to our town and state, inflicting untold pain, despair, and financial hardship on our families, neighbors, colleagues, and friends. I'm running because the divisive, hyper-partisan, polarizing politics as usual of the past won't solve the myriad COVID-19 crises. Today, we face unique, highly emotional and vexing life and death issues that have no quick and easy solutions. That's why we need a new approach, one that values inclusion, collaboration, teamwork, voters' voices, compromise, and doing what's best for all town residents, not just those of one particular political party. Indeed, the current hyper-partisan approach will only make things worse because the COVID-19 catastrophe demands cooperation and urgency, not divisiveness and delay. We cannot afford to just kick the can down the road or deploy a study commission or wait until the next session when it comes to COVID-19. Too many people's health, livelihoods, and lives depend on us coming together to address this calamity. We no longer have the luxury of do-nothing politics. We must work together with all hands on deck as we Vermonters did during Tropical Storm Irene and build back better than ever. In 2020, it's clear that the arrival of COVID-19 requires a change in Montpelier. We need a new brand of legislator with fresh ideas, real, real world work experience and teamwork expertise to help lead Rutland Town through this emergency. We are one town. We need to be pulling together. If elected, I promise no new taxes or fees and no increases to existing taxes or fees during our recovery from COVID-19. Our cupboards are practically bare. We must surgically trim government spending. It can be done. I've managed budgets in the private and public sectors. It can be done. Above all, we need more creative solutions than just increasing Vermonters' tax burdens. If elected, I vow to make your concerns my concerns. I want to hear from you. I want to know what your issues are. And I want you to think that we can make our community better together. I believe an inclusive, collaborative, broad-based, bipartisan approach is the best way to solve our looming problems, many of which are regional in nature and all of which have been exasperated mightily by the COVID-19 onslaught. I promise to work hard for you every single day of the session and beyond 
to seek your input and ideas, and to keep you continuously informed about legislative actions in Montpelier. We must build back better than ever, and together we will. If you haven't already voted by mail, get your ballots in, or please vote on August 11th. Thank you.